This segment is sponsored by BitcoinBling.com. Bienvenido, Privet, Josh Galdenes. Welcome. I'm your host tonight for Teen Click on This. And as you can guess, we are at the 2014 Hollywood International Entertainment Awards. We are going to talk to people and performers from all over the world. Let's go check it out. Hi Taylor, what brings you out tonight to the International Awards? I'm just really excited because like I've never really branched out and listened to like international music um, other than the bands who have come over like Bastille and everything so I'm really excited to kind of expand and see um, some of the new singers and everything coming out. Who are the current um, international bands that you like? Um, that have come over from like other... Or in gen world music in general. I really like, I know Bastille originated in... Uh -huh. um, Great Britain, so I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with, obsessed with them. I don't even know that band. Really? It's a British um, band? Yeah, it's, um, you know the song Pompeii? I'm behind in music. Okay. Well, they sing Pompeii, and then I also... Go like, down the Pompeii. Yes, and then Congos. Um, they're South um, African, I think, what um, music, style. What music do you think you're going to be most excited about tonight? Do you have any particular um, region of the world you're most excited about? Or don't you know yet? I don't know yet. I guess we'll have to find out. And what projects are you currently working on? Um, I currently have, um, I'm working with Make-A-Wish um, on a film that just aired um, called Yes, Virginia. It comes out every single year on CBS, so it just aired, but we're continuing on with their Believe campaign, um, which goes till National Believe Day, which um, if you go to any Macy's, you oh, can cool. donate um, indirectly a dollar to Make-A-Wish by just putting a letter to Santa. And then on Believe Day, which is the 12th, you can um, write a letter and have $2 uh, donated to Santa. And this is all going on right now? Yes, this is ongoing any single Macy's. Okay, so check out your Ma the Macy's. And then what type of character were you playing? Um, I was a little girl in a red coat named Taylor. Um, I was one of Virginia's like best friends. Cool. Um, so when a little accident happens, uh, we're all like kind of upset about it. And you know, it was just it was a fun project to work on, especially because it was animated by Tim Burton. Oh, that's intense. Yeah. That's that awesome. So Congratulations. Fun. Thank you so much. And what's your favorite thing? Like, what's your favorite department of Macy's? Probably the teen clothing. <laughs> probably Junior's clothing. Yeah, probably like more like the like the edgier stuff, like the jack, like the je or the leather jackets and like studs, sequins, yeah, studs. sequins. Yeah, band tees. Oh yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much and enjoy the international tunes. Thank you. You too. Awesome. Hi, I'm John Papuno, and you're watching Teen Click on This. Welcome tonight. I know that he is a singer himself. He's a guest in attendance. He's from the Philippines originally, well mm -hmm. his parents are, but he currently lives in Beverly Hills as you can see by his little tag here. And he has an album set to come out next year. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your music and your new album? Okay, um, I'm a classical pop uh, recording artist. And um, so if, if you like uh, El Divo, Josh Groban, it's that kind of sound. Um, it's produced by Grammy Award winner Bob Cogsarella. And uh, it's my debut album coming out next year. What is it called? Uh, Self-titled John Paul Puno. Okay, cool. Was it hard coming up with a name? No. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like, what was the coolest part of the process of making your own album? That's a really big experience in someone's life. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, it's interesting. Like, um, receiving a demo is a uh, very bare bones, and then hearing the final product, um, like with the uh, orchestra and everything, it's like uh, it's amazing. Were there any obstacles you faced along the way? on like producing each song? Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was delayed for quite a bit. And uh, finally, we, uh, we got it done this year. And it's going to be ready for release next year. How did you get an international fan base? Um, well, um, they, they found out about me. And um, so, um, I mean, I've been featured in, mag in uh, newspapers in uh, Turkey, in Latin America. Merhaba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Which magazine do you know? Was it here yet? It was um, in a Turkey a Gazette newspaper. Oh, Gazette, I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a lot of Turkish friends. It's yeah. not just random knowledge. Well, anyways, you enjoy your night, and we look forward to um, looking for your album. When can we expect it? Um, early next year, in the spring. Okay, cool. Spring 2015. Check them out. 
Hello, I'm Angela Zhao. You're watching TeamClick.com. Angela is one of our hosts tonight. She's going to be hosting inside at the awards show and doing some red car carpets just like me. Yeah, exactly. Do you host a lot? I know that you're an actress. Yeah, so mainly I act before Hollywood International Entertainment. I'm doing the hosting series. So I'm so happy to be here hosting the gala tonight. And I'll be talking to people on the red carpet too, doing whatever you're doing. Good. I, I got to warm up. So you're warming up right now with me for yeah, later. Thank you so much. No, this is so fun. We're just like two hostesses kind of interviewing. We're going to be interviewing hosts from all over the world. You're from China originally. Is that your heritage? I was born in China, raised in New Zealand. And what's the coolest part about each country? Oh god. Or what do you miss the most? Because I am assuming you live here now. Yes. Oh, oh well, people are I calling you. <laughs> She's gotta go. We'll see her inside. Alright, so this guy just walked into the building and I almost passed out because I thought Jay-Z had arrived. <laughs> but he's actually just a, his name is Young Corey, yes. not young Jay-Z. No. Even though you look like a younger version of Jay-Z. Jay -Z. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's the big homie, though. So, you know, uh, that's a compliment to the utmost. But, no, nah, it's Corey. And you even have a connection with Jay-Z that you were telling me about. Uh, yeah, he's actually trying to sign me through one of his subsidiary record labels, which is called Star Rock. Does he know you? Like, has he seen you? Does no, he? Because um, well, he should. I don't know if he's seen me for sure yet, but, I mean, I think he has because of the people that I'm connected with. In you Star Rock, skit. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, I get that all the time, but yeah. That's cool. We can do a Katy Perry and Jay Z skit sometime. Yeah, you but definitely look like Katy Perry, <laughs> but you're gorgeous though. We'll talk about. Thank you. You too. We'll talk about what you have going on though. So okay. he's here tonight because he represents a lot of international artists. He owns his own record label and production company. No, uh, uh, management, management company. Management company. Yes. If you want to talk a little bit about that, okay. Why do you sign international artists? Uh. uh uh, well, like, is because, that what you specify in? Uh, well, it's not what I specified in, but to actually tell the truth, there's a platform called SoundCloud. Love uh, SoundCloud. I, uh, what's the name? Well, I first started on SoundCloud about four or five years ago when it wasn't that popular. And it was easy for me to connect with international artists than it was for local people. Because local people, it seemed like, you know, I don't know for any reason, like they hate on each other or whatever. But uh, international artists, you know, they connected with me. So Interesting. Yeah, so that's where I got most of my beats from. So once I got the beats, I started my label and found in my label. I figured, why not sign these people and let's just keep it all in-house. So I actually have three producers that are signed to the label, and the label is called Disdain Rebel Records. Disdain Rebel Records. Yes. So we can look up some of your artists and listen to some of the music? Well, no, they're producers. Oh, they're producers. Yeah, I'm the only artist that's signed to the label at the moment, but I'm definitely looking for new talent, and that's why I'm here tonight. You know, Scouting uh, talent tonight. Uh, exactly, exactly. Possibly uh, scouting new uh, artists that can be signed to the label. And then through the label, I have uh, what's called a, a subsidiary company, which is the management company, Disdain Management. So, do you, are, so you, you do music yourself? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'm the artist, songwriter, manager, and record label executive. What kind of music? Uh, hip hop, rap as an artist, but as a songwriter, uh, alternative rock, neo soul, pop. You know what I mean? Oh, cool, neo soul, interesting. Well, thanks so much, and we look forward to looking you up. And I hope that you find people from all over the world to represent tonight. Okay, most definitely. Thank you for the interview, and uh, have a good night. You too. See you, Dizzy. So you immediately caught my attention when I walked in, and I was like, who is that? And now it makes sense that I find out you're a designer. Can we get a shot of her shoes, first of all? So styled well, and this is her daughter. So her name is Erichi? Did yes. I say that right? My name is Irina, but my brand name is Irichi. Okay, cool. My daughter's name is Mary. Well, welcome tonight. Do you pull different style inspirations from each culture, or where do you get your inspiration? Uh, no, I like to, you know, feather. I like um, uh, nice e exotic leathers. I'm trying to, you know, to find out. I like music, glamour. And where can people find your line of clothing? Uh, we have a uh, website, uh -huh. iruchi.com, and we have an Instagram, iruchi couture. We have it in Facebook, iruchi arena. Right, we have some models actually. Come and model your things. I need this. Yeah, this is leather. And does this zip off? Yes. Oh yeah. wow! You even make attachments on jackets. This is also. Uh, this is a beautiful dress by Ruchi, and uh, very comfortable, and it look beautiful. Hi, I'm with Roman Simon, and he just finished this amazing production called Red to Black. Yeah, it is a book. It come out next uh, next Saturday, the 13th of December, and I'm so proud to be here. I'm excited, and uh, this is the first printed copy of the book. And uh, I'm how many pages is that? It's about 162 pages. 
How long does it take someone to write a book that's 160 pages? Uh, it's it's about a year research. You know, if you're writing a, a, a love vampire story, you want to make sure everything is up to date, what was happening in, around that time. So it about, it's about a year process, and then to write the actual book is about uh, three months. And is it a fictional book or a non-fiction? It's a fiction. So what research do you do with a fiction? Um, I, I try to look, you know, what happened in, in uh, the early 1700s. With, is that with when the, it takes place? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm from Haiti, so I have witnessed a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, um, black magic, ritual stuff to happen. I always find that so interesting. So, which is which is voodoo. So I incorporate a lot of that. But you know, deep down, with within, uh, if vampire were really to exist, human is no different than vampires. So Whoa, what was that? Human is no different than vampires. Explain. The reason why I say that is because human do things not so much out of love. It's out of their own self. You know, uh, so let's like say a selfish wanna, motive. Yes, let's say I want to help you. You're a beautiful lady, right? Mm -hmm. So I know down the line I will be able to be with you. But vampires bite people for they blood. They suck the energy. It's out of necessity. So it's the same thing. So we do things out of necessity, not so much out of love. So is this about people that behave like vampires? Uh, this one is, is it's a triangle between human and vampires. And, uh, so there um, are real vampires in your book? Yes. Yeah. So we have human and vampires, and then, we, and then also the story is about how far a man will go for the one they love, including shedding their own blood. Oh, wow. So, you know, w uh, raising in Haiti, uh, my family, you know, my, my grandfather will do, you know, will um, do voodoo to protect the whole family, which is that sacrifice is on soul. We'll never be able to go to heaven. So this is what that's Amen, what they believe. Yes, this is what Amen will do for the one they love. So this is what, what the story is really about. There's a lot of drama, uh, action, and you know, sounds a lot exciting. Of yeah. You're incorporating you a lot of elements. Are these some of the people? Right there, How are yeah. they part? Is that you, the model? Oh wow! Can I see you? Do a side profile. What? Oh, see, that's him. That's him, all right. And what about, is that? Yeah, he's he, playing uh, the, uh, cousin with one of the vampires, which is recasting the Power Rangers. Oh, uh, it's going to be produced into a movie. Into a movie, okay. yes. Because when I said production earlier, and then you said it was a book, I was like, wait, I thought it was a production, too. Yeah, it's a production in a book. So and you, it will you're be adapted right. into a movie. Yes, yeah. So Very nice. The book come out next week, and it's going to be on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Kindles, Library of Congress, pretty much everywhere. And That's I will awesome. have a copy. So hopefully you can come to the um, book. Yeah, signing. let us know when the book signing is. Uh, it's going to be at La Maison in Studio City, La Maison, L-A-M-A-I-S-O-N in Studio City. And it's at 5 p.m. book signing, um, taking pictures with... Uh, Where can with I get star. a copy of the book? Uh, you get it there. We will have it at that particular party, or you can get it on Amazon. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy your night. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see hear more about this. Thank you. Hi, I'm with Deacon Sue. She's an alternative singer based in Los Angeles. She's joining the fashion trends tonight. Everyone's looking great. This She has a really unique bag. Thank you so much. I got it from a vintage store. LA has the most amazing vintage they stores. Do. They do indeed. <laughs> what is your favorite? Um, I love Buffalo Exchange, and then they have a lot of stuff in um, Pasadena, Cloud Heaven, and they have a lot of uh, couture pieces, so I love that place too. And uh, you're a singer. Where do you like to perform around LA? Um, I love the Mint. Um, I'm doing some festivals now, so I love the festivals. Congratulations. What festivals are you going to be performing We're trying at? to do some in um, Alabama called Hangout Festival. Some are like not completely tied down yet, but it's going to be so great. where do you get all of your music inspiration from? Um, everything. Everything. There's inspiration in everything. So. You think you'll get any tonight at the International Music? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, there's so many people, so many beautiful you know, outfits here, it's awesome. So. What's your favorite type of international music? Um, I love French music, French uh, pop, they call it, uh, and Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Are you French? No. no okay. I speak a little. Un petit. Un petit. Ah, yeah, say something in the camera. Oh, un petit. <laughs> un petit. Bonjour, je m'appelle. <laughs> So, um, let's talk a little bit about your music. Do you have an album out? I do. It's called Zeitgeist. Uh, it's like German. Cool. Band. Yeah, thank you. Have you? Yeah, everyone loves Zeitgeist. We're with a team publication, so I don't know if they'll know about Zeitgeist. Oh, it's a um, mean spirit of the time. It's a German word, so, yeah. Everyone that we've interviewed so far tonight has all had, like, 
different worldly references in their music, which is awesome. So I can see why you're all invited. <laughs> Definitely. And if you could give advice out there to teen singers, what would it be? Because I know that that's a very hard business. Um, if you really love it, do it and keep going. Do you think the first step is open mics? Do you think it's just writing a song? Do, is it YouTube? What's the way to go now in 2014 as a singer? Um, it tends to be a lot of YouTube. Um, I just started with writing, so I found a producer. We, we go really good together creatively, so whatever way you can get in, just get in. <laughs> Are you on, do, did you get your start on YouTube after you guys started making music together? No, actually, we just started writing, and he's a, a, um, a Grammy-nominated producer, That's so awesome. that helps. <laughs> that really helps. That helps a whole lot. The first step is getting to know a Grammy award-winning <laughs> producer. Definitely, and he's wonderful, so uh, yeah. And where can we find your music? We can, you can find my music on YouTube, iTunes, D-E-Q in space S-U-E. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, and enjoy the night. I hope you get a lot of music inspiration. Thank you so much. Have fun. I am with Sweet Core. It's sweet without the tea. She just informed me. That. Yes. <laughs> and I just was eavesdropping and I heard that you were an actress, model, and I'm a DJ. Actress. Yes, I am. Um, my main, um, actually, my main base was DJing and modeling. And now I'm getting into acting as well, so yeah. That is so cool. Um, where do you DJ and like what type of music do you spin? Um, I've been DJing a lot in Australia. That's where my main base is. And right now uh, I've been playing at places like Sofitel. I don't know if you know that. In I don't know that. In Riviera. Um, I recently played at The Colony. So a few clubs here that I just recently started playing again. But I'll be traveling to Malaysia and Australia next month and January to DJ there. So I'm really excited. So there's not as many uh, female DJs as there are male DJs, obviously. So wh what do you think? Is there obstacles that a, a woman goes through when you're a woman DJ? Um, you do get a bit of, you know, um, feedback when you say that, oh, you're a model and you're also a DJ. And yeah, the modeling angle, too. Yeah, and obviously they'll be thinking, oh, okay, can you really DJ? Can you really make this? Like, well, of course I can. I actually learn from turntables. So I can mix. I can tell you that. <laughs> so you actually have to um, like prove yourself a little bit more, you would say. Yeah, I mean, obviously it helps to be a model. It might get you through the door. But at the end of the day, it's your skill that brings you to the next level. So no, I, I'm definitely very confident in what I do. So And I'm, I think I, I hope I'll do well. I think <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So you're yeah. based in Australia. If you could give any advice to teens out there that want to do something cool that a lot of girls usually aren't normally doing, like DJing. Okay. I say you love what you do. Just go for it. Don't let anyone hold you back because it's in your heart. Once everything you do it from your heart, you would just go all the way. And then, you know, of course, you got to work hard. You got to learn the skill and everything. But if you really have it and you push yourself, you will get there somehow. There will be obstacles, but don't worry about those things. If you love something, what you do, just go for it. That's my motto. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. All right, team, click on this. That's a wrap. I'm your host, Emily Hagen, here at the 2014 International Entertainment Awards. Join us next year. This segment is sponsored by BitcoinBling.com.